one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I keep trying to convince my wife that, you know, I have like very normal disabilities, you know, like, <laughs> you know, I'm just like, you know, I learned English as my second language, you know, I'm um, whatever X, Y chromosome. So like, you know, my brain doesn't develop until later. So it's just, it's, I'm just si saying science, you know, <laughs> I, she's a researcher. She believes in science. So it makes sense to me. I don't know. She's not giving too much sympathy though. <laughs> it's tough. It's tough. All right. So Rick, very special sip and stretch today. I'm doing a routine that I got from a gymnast. I'm not, oh. a, I'm not going to say she's in the Olympics, but I'm not going to say she's not in the Olympics. So let's put it that way. Um, I'll read you the exact routine from her Slack account. I can't name who she is though. It's very top secret. She says, basically, I roll up my legs with a PVC pipe. Then I, my calves, hamstrings, quads, outer thigh, inner thigh. Then I stretch everything from my Achilles all the way up. She names all the stretches. And then she goes on to say, uh, then this takes me about one to two hours. Oh, oh man. Amazing. And then, um, and then throughout the day, uh, she also stands up, stretches. It, it, so she's trying to get her right splits back. She has her left splits, but she's about six <sighs> inches off the ground in her right splits. So that's, there you go. So just, just interesting, right? I mean, I think like, I think even if we get a little bit better today, that's a huge win for 30 minutes, I think, than one to two hours, seven days oh. a week. Pretty good. Well, so I'll, we're, I'll, not I'll, going, we're not going one to two hours. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I, I would just fall asleep. She calls these pancakes. The reason these are called pancakes, because unlike myself, uh, but like Lindy, she can actually get her head to go boop on the ground <laughs> like a pancake. All right, let's go for the uh, side stretch here. But I think the nice thing about it is that, you know, it, it takes a while to do these stretches, and that's okay. Breathe it out. Oh, tell us about this new puppy, please, Jody. Oh, she's so sweet. She's really great. She's 17, 18 weeks. Whoa, she's going to be available at the SPCA. Lauren. What? Jody. Wow. Right He's bringing Lauren over. He's bringing Lauren over. <laughs> Puppy alert, puppy alert. <laughs> All right, make sure you guys get the other side. That's so oh, cute. Oh my God. Wait, wait, Jody, hold it up. <laughs> She's super Good. tiny. She's seven pounds. Oh. She's the sweetest. Oh, so cute. She's so she sleeps pretty. through the night is, in a box. So good. Is, is that like a doodle of some sort? It's like a Maltese mix. Oh. So they found her in Fresno. Um, they don't Go have the much of her sit. story. See all of it. It's, see all of it. Make it up. They don't have it. They just found her. Um, but she's super sweet. Already trained herself to go outside. Wow. It's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. What's her name? The dog. It's Bella, but you know, we're, I don't really call her that. <laughs> it's up for grabs, whatever you want to call her if you adopt her. Well, Bella's nice. Yeah, it's not bad. I just feel like it could be better, you know? Maybe you guys lay, you lay back. Let's get the hamstring. Jody, you must have known a lot of Bella in her day. <laughs> All right. Hamstring stretch here. Again, we're just going along our gymnastics routine here. We're busy, Breathe. Sergio. <laughs> What's that? I know, I guess. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a very, very cute puppy. So for anybody out there in the Sip and Stretch universe, foster puppy yes i'll How bring her work? for show do, and tell do you pay money for it or is it the do they pay money you for you like what happens no i just volunteer to do this but if you were to adopt her um they cover everything they get her vaccinated spay and or they neuter her and spay her and um yeah she's basically available to you they don't even want to put her online because of her breed smart so yeah switch it up people they, switch it up they are oh, looking it. for me to find her home so if anyone is looking for a puppy. What's the significance of the breed? Um, it's like technically a designer dog, so they don't trust what people's motives would be in uh, adopting her. Wait, wow. a designer dog? Yeah, you know, like a poodle or a 
um, she doesn't shed. So what does that mean? Um, it's just like a in high demand. Like people are doing a lot of the poodles because they don't shed. Maltese's don't shed. They're really good dogs, and they can sell upwards of like three thousand dollars. So the thing they're gonna flip the dog, basically. Yeah. Lady. Oh, oh, oh. mock it up. Go to get the knee hug. You know. So don't tell Colin. You know how you get. Doctor for the wrong reasons. Uh, Three. That's crazy. <laughs> Colin said he was thinking about it. <laughs> 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 all right so right back to that inner thigh stretch we can do one more cycle here with the pancake i'm pretty upset that she calls it a pancake did, did he, but that puppy is amazing wow did he name her him did i and not you did colin name him no. no oh he was holding back but yes i think he did I, 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 I'm, I'm contemplating taking her as chloe's graduation present Oh my god, that would be dad of the year award. Thinking, that's thinking right there. Please. Chloe Jr. Chloe Jr. here. <laughs> All right. Breathe it out here. Let we got our pancakes back to that side stretch one more round here. Oh, with that reach across. I feel like the puppy is going to give us some good uh stretching juju here, you know? <laughs> I can feel it's it. Just, I, I feel more flexible already. <laughs> My heart definitely is. It's softened up. How about that? <laughs> Melting. And that was like the fastest Lauren call we've ever gotten too, Rick. So that was huge. <laughs> Usually it takes at least 10, 15 minutes to get going. But that was a... Yeah. Lauren, that, that was Urgent. pretty quick. Come Urgent. now. Urgent. That's, that's huge. This is, this is big for us. Let's go get the other side here. Oh, man. There's so many places to go from here. So I did just see a video of the 17 year old girl protecting her puppies. So many dogs from a bear. Mm. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. I, I just wish I would be brave enough to do that. You know, it was, it was quite the, quite the scene. Did it work out? Rogan, you got it. it Scott. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> got it. What did it work out for? Uh, yeah. She, Everyone's fine, but yeah, I suggest not fighting bears, but, you know, I don't know. I, I wish I would be that brave, hopefully. The bear climb right back on the, on the fence. Yep. Wow. Amazing. When, when it's your Let's baby, along. Sergio, there's nothing you won't do. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no, no. That was, yeah, that was like a couple weeks ago. I was, you know, I felt like I needed to, you know, jump into action. Got to do what you got to do. Well, I think in that case, you, you don't think, you just do it. That's, no, that's exactly what she said in the interview. She's like, I didn't know it was a bear until after I pushed it. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. She's so lucky. So lucky. All right, folks. See if you go for a hip flex stretch here, half kneeling. Yeah, the really cool thing, and then after they had an expert come and talk, and he's like, yeah, you know, I wouldn't really, I would, I would highly suggest that you shouldn't push bears. I was like, okay, duh. Mm -hmm. He's like, uh, yeah, you should probably, you know, um, this is when I started laughing out loud, you know, hit it with the slingshot or bang some pants, Jody. It's, it's like, <laughs> what? It's like, there isn't this like slingshot pan just ready there, you know? So. Preparedness. <laughs> I know, got it. Speaking of pans, get, get those ready, Lindy. Yosemite. Pans. What does pans yep. mean? Well, we were preparing Colin to prepare to help to help fend off the bears when you guys are in Yosemite. Oh, with a pen. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Gonna switch sides here. The kettlebells aren't gonna help. No, not yeah. for that. He can't start doing swings, and then uh, the, the bears don't really care about that. <laughs> Let's get the hip flexor there. They're not gonna care how many swings he can do in a month. He really, they really aren't. <laughs> <laughs> Bear, so I think this new fact bears and wives don't care how many swings you can do in a month <laughs> pro tip pro tip <laughs> yet we still tell them we still tell them <laughs> all right folks see if we go for a split squad here again I'm just going off the this, that's what the light is that's the routine that's the top secret gymnastic routine right there hands on the hips 
split squat, you come up and then sink down. So it's really an active stretch is what we're going for here. And I'm trying to think if I have any wild animal encounters to tell you guys. I, I don't got much. I need, maybe I need to spend more time out there. <laughs> I have a lot of false sightings. Like I always think that like I see a California condor and it's usually like a pigeon or a like a vulture. Oh, I've got one. Let's, when, go switch sides. Let's, let's when, hear it. When Jesse was a baby, I lived in a, well, I was living in Sydney, Australia. And I lived in a house that had lots of stairs. Anyway, my mom was with Jesse as a baby and she was in the living room and she watched this iguana come from downstairs to upstairs and go down the hall and into one of the bedrooms. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, and, and it was about four feet long. Whoa, that's really big. Which is kind of scary. Anyway, she casually got up as you do when you're an Australian and walked in the hall <laughs> and closed the door. Wow. <laughs> How old is she again at this point? Uh, this is my mom. We're talking about my mom. And oh, God. I, thought, I thought it was the baby. I thought the baby was closing the door. More yeah. amazed. Got it. The mom. But imagine if that, if the baby had been in the bedroom. Oh, my God. <laughs> Amazing. Crazy. Anyway, anyway, we had to call. A, she called the fire department. Wow. No, they I picked it up with their bare hands. In Australia, I don't think it's the fire department. I think it's some kind of animal rescue. Got it. The Australians are all about. Oh yeah. Rescuing animals. There's like the there's like very dangerous animals out there. It's like Snake Central. Yeah. Yep. All right, breathe it out. <laughs> Colin knows. <laughs> yeah. Colin's afraid of everything. He tells me he's not, he's not, he's not going to pet a snake or a, a sure. large spider. <laughs> We're Californians here, so we, we, we'll, we'll accept Colin for who he is and <laughs> scariness of uh, all sorts of wildlife. Let's get a long, so think, you know, if we're doing yoga, think almost like one of the warrior poses, but it's more of a high lunge. Uh, so instead of spinning the foot out, just keep it straight. All right, it's a high lunge, tuck under, crunch down, breathe. A lot of hip flexor, maybe some calf. Reach up and across or reach with both. Either one works fine. I maybe alternate between both here. If you're like me, you wanna fidget around a little bit, do a little bit of both. But whichever one feels more tight or feels best for you, I would recommend here. Wow, that's a big lizard, Jesus. <laughs> Four feet. Yeah. That sounds like a very Australian story, though, too. Yeah. That is a very Australian story. <laughs> yeah, just close the door. Lizard in the house. Because if, if you had that kind of iguana walking around, wouldn't you think you'd keep your front door closed? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Switch sides here. Actually, we got one. So we're down here in San Jose. Uh, so it's just, it's just possum central. You know, we're kind of down, down by the river. No, we're, um, we got this like kind of canal close by. So that's our theory that the possums all hang by there. And then our dogs, you know, being the wild animals that they are, they like to hunt these possums, right? One of them specifically. Uh, so we come home and there's just like this big ass possum in the living room very <laughs> gross oh. and then i'm not touching it mallory's not touching it um <laughs> so we call you know the authorities there's a there's a whatever it is wild animal control kind of thing um i unfortunately have to go to work you know since i'm responsible sorry mallory <laughs> um, gotta go <laughs> <laughs> so she stands behind the you know, I, I think a chair or something, and then uh, watch the possum. It was obviously just playing possum the whole time. So, it was, and then she's like, it started moving. So she started hitting pans together, of course. Uh, that's not working, you know, wrong animal. 
Um, <laughs> but finally, the you know, she kind of just boxes it in and it stops. Wild Animal Control comes. It's some crazy lady. She comes in, bare hands, just grabs by the tail, throws in a little bag. Okay, bye. See you later. It's it's like a it's like a large cat. It was kind of gross. No, it's not. It's a possum. Oh, I know, but it, but it looks that big though. <laughs> an opossum. An opossum. Oh, I got another story. Uh oh, let's go for it. So feet wide. Back to the. Uh, let's hear it. I'm ready. When I was about seven, I went on an airplane for the first time to see a girlfriend who lived in the country. This also is in New South Wales, Australia. And the dad took us kind of what we call bushwalking, but it was just really a hike. Anyway, yep. he has a big stick with him. And all of a sudden, <laughs> he throws me to the ground and he starts pounding the ground with a stick in such a violent way that I, I just, like tears just came to my eyes. <laughs> oh no. And, um, and then he picks up this giant red belly black snake. Whoa. That I nearly stepped on. Wow. Jeez. Yeah, and they're better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lifesaver. Look at that. That's a good reaction right there. And then, and then he proceeded to cut its head off and skin it. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> cool. At that point, you gotta it, you gotta make the most of it. Let me have you guys back down to the uh, half kneeling there, tuck under, crunch down. Again, another very Australian story. <laughs> that's great i can listen to these all day reach across breathe and then up and back here think about keeping the glute tight here as you crunch under wow well i definitely know why that's a good reason to carry a big stick <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt, that's what that reminds me of. Mm -hmm. It's some, some quote about carrying a stick, right, Rick? You know, you're yeah. more educated than I am. Walk you softly. Know. There you go. And carry a big mobility stick. We have those at Access, by the way. <laughs> he has a poem that I sent uh, um, Sal and uh, Jody. One of these other times when I was work out high again. It was about being the man in the arena. Oh, I love it. It's my favorite. Daring greatly. All right, one more of each here. All right, folks, hands on the ground. Cat camels here, flex and extend. Inhale and exhale. But yeah, I feel like the wildlife has been getting a little more active here, you know, post, well, oh, during COVID. I don't know. I'm, I'm, you know, my theory was we're either noticing them more or, you know, maybe they got more room to play here. Larger lizards, there's more birds. Big squirrels. Jeez, he's in some big squirrels there lately. Not a big fan of squirrels. Get one more. All right, gophers. back leg. Oh, the gophers, not them. Get the pigeon stretch yeah. there. They just try to mess with it. They keep making those holes. Yeah. We've had a gopher trapper. He comes twice a month. It's been going on for over a year now. <laughs> oh, no. Man. We need a dog to catch our If dog. only you had a, a small oh, hint, hint, Rick. dog. Oh, hint, <laughs> You have a family of raccoons that occasionally walk past the back door. Mm. Oh, wow. There's five of them. They just, they don't care whether you're at the door or not. They just. See, these, these animals are getting cocky. I'm telling you. All right, other side. Hmm. Well, I guess as long as they're not harming anything, but still. They don't, they don't bother me. No, no, no. I'm they're big to, though, right? I'm used to the wildlife. <laughs> yeah, you got they're, it. <laughs> they're helping you create a little outback behind your house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Got it. Is 
there's another video of this guy who saves his dog. I think it's a uh, Kevin Rose. He saves his dog from a raccoon. So he grabs the raccoon. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, you know, if it's the raccoon versus the dog, you, you, you got to throw a raccoon. But I mean, just the, those moments of bravery. I mean, it's a lot. I'm sure you would do it, Rick. I know you would. Yeah. It's a parental I, thing. I, I can tell. You got to do it. You know, it's the, those are the moments that define us. I, I really believe that. Let's go face up here. Legs bent. Like Lindy getting saved. That could have been it. That could have been it, Lindy. It was a short story. All over. I know. That's amazing. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the abs, and then back down with our bridges here, trying to lock in that mobility here. I think overall we're probably pretty wimpy though with like wildlife, you know. I think I had one camping experience like outside and I was chaperoning. This is like three years ago too. And then, and then I was like, ah, there's a bug <laughs> there. It's so close. Yeah. We need some more survival skills. Access camp? Should we have an access summer camp? Yes. You can be a troop leader there, Rick. <clears throat> Brilliant idea. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> All right, folks. So legs up straight there. Back to that leg raise. If you got a rope or some hands, use them and then see if you can get a contract relax. So press in to your hands or rope. Push, 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 and then pull. Push, 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 and then pull. I like single leg, double leg could work though. Five of those each side here. Here we go, one more. All right, other side there. Same thing. All right, what's going on, Jeremy Chan? Is that a question or is that a high five? Good. Nice, thumbs up. Here we go, one more. All right, cross one leg over the other, knee out, bring it in, that figure four stretch here, breathe it out there. Oh man, too many animal stories here, it's crazy. Was your dog recovered? Thinking, uh, yeah, she had that like panic attack thing, she got stuck, yeah, she's been good. Speaking yeah. of that, so we're going on this trip this weekend, keep that figure four, folks. But on the switch, we so uh, I ordered a bunch of stuff since we're going to Napa this weekend, but we're taking the dog. So I got this vest so that we can put one of these on her. Is <laughs> Apparently, you can just order them. <laughs> well, you can take her yeah. into <laughs> I, I don't know. And then we got one of these, you know. <laughs> that, this is this is this is for me though that, it's, that's what's gonna help you know it's it's been an issue so we're working on it all right folks make sure you guys get the other side here with that figure four but i guess that's what happens when i like you know i don't know when you like lightly headbutt people they tend to pet you it's weird <laughs> All right, let's see if we go face down here. Let's finish off with some uh, prone cobras here. Thanks, Jeremy Chan. Appreciate it. I'm wondering if it uh, annoys anybody that I have my mat this way, but I'm laying across it this way. It's more for the contrast than anything. No, doesn't bother you. No? Good, good, good. Thank you for accepting me. You're not okay with it, Jody? Thumbs down. It's like, it's like the mouth breathing. <laughs> there you go. We can handle one pet peeve every week, Jody. I'm getting indigestion. 
<laughs> Do not pet. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the child's pose stretch. I think that'll be the goal every sip and stretch now. So we need one Jody pet peeve, <laughs> a Lauren come over here, and then a, a, a Lindy animal uh, wildlife story from the outback here. Yes. That would be, that would just, oh man, just oodles of fun. All right, elbows on the ground here, one hand behind the back, so you can get a rotation. Up, turn, breathe, right back down, not through your mouth, back down, <laughs> inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. It's crazy, Jody, because the, the mouths are going to be released on the 15th. It's like all the mouths are coming out at the same time, you know? <laughs> it's like a big nightmare. <laughs> Uh, like, no. <laughs> they've been they've been covered up for so long <laughs> i've been hearing stories of people getting their teeth whitened too it's kind of funny <laughs> let's, go, let's go to the other side and these tech workers rick you, you can't get enough of them yeah. it's like yeah it's just it's just silicon valley the tv show it's hilarious inhale and exhale. <laughs> gotta take my mask off. I gotta brush my teeth now. Dang it. Ugh. <laughs> so much hassle. Start with a chisel. Yeah, oh, there you go. <laughs> oh my God. Speaking of Instagram pages, Rick. That's like Dr. Pimple Popper, but like teeth version, it's bad. All right, last time here with that hip flexor stretch, tuck under, crunch it down, big reach, line yourself up here. And if you can, try to dig out from under there and then sink back down. I saw a friend over the weekend and she's like, how's business going? I was like, you know, everything's going pretty good. You know, most people are coming back. She's like, yeah. She's like, I've been talking to a lot of friends and they're like, I gained 20 pounds and I, and we got to go back to work. So I got to start losing some weight. So I, I just never thought about that perspective. You know, I'm totally sympathetic, empathetic with it. I had my COVID eight pounds, but then I cut it out. I looked, I stared at myself in the mirror and said, Hey, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> Let's go and switch sides. So I'm, on, I'm on my journey. I'm on my journey back here. But that was an interesting problem, though. I was like, oh, wow. But, like, I, I, yeah, I didn't think about uh, co-worker shaming. Oh, Jody. There was, there was, yeah, there was articles coming out about people are just as stressed about going back to work as they were when we first shut down. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, you know, I get it. I get it. It was a long time. Every time I go to work in the morning, I say, Sergio, you can do this, okay? <laughs> you got it. Today is your day. It's what's gonna that, be okay. what's the affirmation? <laughs> you are, you're okay. All right, folks, roll the shoulders around. Super top secret splits. We're on our way. We're getting there. We're getting stronger. We're not letting the animals attack us. Oh, so great. Thank you. As always, 